rock him. Cause I really wanna rock him. Rock him. Rock him. So we were talking about writing things down, making things happen. This video, we're basically talking about what? Action, action, and more action. Taking action, making it happen at the same time. So you got the first part, you know, about writing it down, but then now we're gonna talk about making it happen. So right so. now we're in Michigan, St. Joe, beautiful Silver city, Beach. St. Joe. If you guys get a chance, make sure you guys come through. Yes. after this whole situation is done and over with and get their actually good yeah pizza. you can actually come in right now shoot it's a nice and city. get their good pizza yeah. when it's open silver beach pizza which is lit but yeah this is like a historical place used to do a lot of hustling a lot of things out here when it comes to like making things happen with this the music as well as with other businesses and things like that too but we'll get to that in some other videos you know down the line right but, uh, now yeah. we're talking about putting in action after you actually created your purpose that's what it is yeah. yeah if you wrote it down now it's time to actually like put it all to work and actually like make it you know come to life so you know you have all these ideas and everything like that you know written down in your mind crammed up now you have it on paper now it's like what's the next step now it's actually getting out there and actually doing it um getting in contact with people that can help you do it and things like that as well too so here we go yeah because exactly what he was saying it's just putting it down on paper and actually making it happen because without action there won't be any reaction you feel you see what i'm saying it's like a science experiment you know what i mean you mix it up bam and then something so happens life is just about, like that life is about making going out and actually walking you know like a machine it has to be moving it has to actually have a, a actual motor going motor yeah like you can have a motor but if it's not moving you see what i'm saying like, yeah, nothing's happening it's not happening at yeah. all so you gotta put the foot to the pedal basically you know you gotta get out of your comfort comfort zone even if that's like you know you getting out one time a week versus like you getting out a hundred times a hundred times a week you just get out one time a week and make that your goal to go and talk to someone about your dream um about what you want to do how you want it to be done um, and you know, like talk with people and collaborate with people and make these things happen. So, After this whole situation is done. Yeah, well, don't even wait, actually. Like make yeah, it happen right now. I would suggest not to go out at a specific moment and yeah. contact people. You can go on Facebook, use these social medias, sure. you know, like record yourself. I'm personally, I'm different. I don't care. I don't care if the world's blowing up right now. I'm going outside, I'm making it happen, shoot. You gotta just and do it. Just make it happen. You yeah. feel me? So just make it happen. The bottom line yeah. at the end of the day is just to go out and just have a purpose, to go out, attack, and just follow the goals, follow your purpose. Yeah. Think about what you're doing. So if you're doing if you're doing something in concern, like if you're doing something that's like art, like you're a drawer, right? Like who who do you think would be people that would be interested in you drawing? You know, you gotta go find these type of people. Go around these people, you know, you can even like work with them or work for them for free just to get in the door. You got to be around people that's going to help you get to where you need to go. So if you're doing that with art, then you can do that. If you're doing when it comes to like uh, music or if you're like a, 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 a person that's like playing the saxophone or playing the violin, you need to go to these different places where people are actually like participating in like playing the violin, playing the saxophone going talking with those people, figuring out how they got to that spot. Then you go and you make your next step from there. Once you have that connection, then you can build on it. But if you have no connections, then you know, you ain't got nothing. Like you just don't like. And it's also a good done. idea to actually go back, you know, like how they did back in the day where they collected phone numbers and put it in a yeah. phone number book so you can hit these people up. Just like having like a yellow book. You see what I'm saying? Like you actually get a book where you're like, hey, this is Jim. He knows how to do, for instance, videotaping. There's another guy that knows how to stitch or there's another guy that knows how to put a program together you have all these people in this book so if you have a plan you can execute this plan exactly. by hitting these people up calling them visiting them going to them making them know that you're serious yeah. like no one's gonna work with someone that's not serious about their craft because they're serious about their craft what? and they're not gonna put it in someone's hands that doesn't care about you know themselves I so agree. number one you gotta be more you gotta be motivated like to the top like to the top of the roof like 
ballistic. You gotta be crazy about what you're doing. That's why you gotta make sure that you are, you know, passionate about what you're doing. You can go back to the other videos that we were talking about, um, about like finding your purpose and things like that. Um, you gotta be passionate about like what you're doing um, and things like that. And uh, don't get, don't, uh, sorry. I know I told you guys like in the last video that we had a surprise for you, so stay tuned. I still got, you know, something that I'm gonna tell you about. But also, I'm um, getting back to what we're talking about. You gotta be very dedicated for what you're doing because it's gonna it's gonna translate through. So let's say I'm going to Myron. Like Myron is the owner of a company that does what? You fix cars. I make shoes. You make shoes. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I'm a shoe designer, right? And he makes shoes. I'm not gonna go to him and be like, Hey Myron, can I design some shoes for you? I mean, you could. That's you could, like, That's just but like. I feel like you should have a plan before That's you go. That's You should create a plan before you go and actually confront these people. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like going out and talking to people or going out and have, for instance, have, you have a business idea and you want to present this to a business company. By the way, not everything gonna, is not is 90% business and 10% art. As so I was saying the, before I was intruded i'm just saying interrupted is you have to have a plan so when you actually go to this business corporation you can have a presentation you go out there and just tell them hey i'm not just here talking about a certain thing i actually studied the analytics the statistics i know where this business will go in the next few years and this is going to be the best business opportunity that you guys ever heard you see what i'm saying well, you gotta be dedicated yeah put the yeah put it in front of him so instead of going to him like hey you know i design shoes no hey I am a shoe designer. You know, I've been working on my craft for X amount of years. I feel like what I have can benefit your business, and this is how it can, and this is how it will benefit your business. Rock 'em, rock 'em, rock 'em, 'cause I really wanna rock 'em, rock 'em, rock 'em.